speaking about your dad, the very first time that I seen you play, my buddy Steve Russo uh, posted a pic uh, video of you and your dad doing Jingle Bells at one oh, yeah. of your shows a few years ago. And you and him both at the same time were playing the piano and getting up and switching sides. And like it, it blew my mind. I'd never seen anything like that, man. That is a crazy video if people want to look that up. Oh, well, that, thank you. He, uh, when I was younger, he used to actually pick me up by my feet and uh, glide me down the piano when I would do a little Jerry Lewis bliss thing but it um so we, we've always done that that's kind of how he, he and i communicate often there's a uh he'll sit down in an organ and i'll be at a piano and that's just kind of how how we converse uh, a lot of times and we actually uh we did that um that version of jingle bells for uh scenes media uh two years ago and uh, it's just a cell phone video and we had the camera uh, perspective flip so it was mirrored so I, we could see the screen set it on the side of the piano and played it <laughs> and it went viral I think it had like 8 million views in uh, two days which was awesome but the funny thing is for all of the extravagant stuff that we tried in the music industry to get seen and get heard and uh, cut through all the noise um, dad's always like see all all you needed was a cell phone video of me joining you and that's all it took all this money <laughs> and he said, bring your old man in and then there you go have a good career now <laughs> so, so did he kind of like uh help you start with your musical journey and has it always been with the piano as well i i think the the more i um, kind of take an accounting of it. it the piano has been the uh, the vehicle into um, just a broader understanding and ability to mold music. So um, the piano translates into everything. So because I know piano, I'm able to communicate with other instrumentalists uh, as a producer in a way that uh, makes sense for them. Um, but uh, I think but because he was my dad and because my mom was a music teacher, I was probably that kid who was always like, oh, come on, you don't know your, your dad, you know? So, um, well, everybody else around him was, was just loved that kind of time with him. Um, I think where they really done right by me was to make sure I was exposed to the musicians in their circles, the James White is the Ray Salyers, um, Dave Kazee, all those people, um, like we, we keep talking about Nashville, well, they played on a lot of records that you hear on country radio from the 90s, and they're based right out of eastern Kentucky. And um, so I grew up being exposed to those people and being exposed to them in a professional environment. When I was 10 or 11 years old, um, they started treating me as an actual musician, so they would push me, and they would get on to me, they would be disappointed in me, they would uh, shake their heads if I did something wrong and stuff, and they held me accountable. And... So I think where mom and dad really, really did right was just by seeing that that was my interest and putting me in the right environment. I, they did the same thing with, with basketball, though. I, I love basketball, so they put me in the right spot. 